Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which we're gonna learn a full finger style arrangement of All Star by Smash Mouth. We're gonna have a lot of fun. This lesson was commissioned as a private arrangement and lesson by a fellow Lickin' Riffer just like you, and donated to the channel so you can all enjoy this arrangement and lesson. So thank you very much, private student! Now I'm gonna play for you so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're gonna break it down note by note, lick by lick, riff by riff, with tabs right here on the screen, as usual. Goes like this, enjoy. Okay, so put your third finger on the third fret of the bass string, the E bass string, so you have a G bass note, okay? That's all, you don't have to put the whole G chord, okay? And you play the open G string first, you play the open third string, okay? That's it, just start by plucking the third string, and then you play the bass with three pull off to zero on the second string, okay? Now, you can play the whole chord. You can play strings 2, 3, 4, and 6. Okay? Strings 2, 3, 4, and 6. Because you have open strings, 3 and 4, so... Okay, and then you play the open second string again, after you pull it off. Okay, so it's the open third string, and then 3 pull off to 0 on the second string with the bass or with the chord, and then the open second string again. And then you play two pull off to zero, zero on the third string, and you do it with the D string. Okay? So that kind of outlines a D chord. Okay? You play strings three and four together, but you pull off two to zero on the third string, and then you play it again. So you get this. And then you have A minor. And you can play the chord, or just the 5th string, just the A bass. Okay? And you pull off the 1 to 0 on the 2nd string. Okay, so it's 1, pull off to 0, 0, 0. Okay? And then you have 2, pull off to 0, 0 again on the 3rd string, but with the C bass. So it's 3 on the 5th string this time. Okay, so it's... Okay? Now together it sounds like this, G, D, A minor, you can play the chord, okay, and then C, okay, and then you have the G and D line again, okay, exactly the same, and then you have A minor, and you just play strings 3, 4, okay, just the chord, okay. Nothing fancy, no pull-offs this time, no open strings. Just the two on the third string with the bass and the two on the fourth. Okay, so that's the verse basically. And before we move on to the uh, next verse, I want to remind you that there are now two weekly lessons on Lick and Riff. Thanks to the kind people among you who support me on Patreon, who support making these lessons on Patreon. Uh, and the kind people who purchase my courses, my Complete Guitar Freedom course series. You can find the links to the courses and to the Patreon page, if this is the first time you hear of them, uh, in the description. So go check them out, the 10 course series, the Complete Guitar Freedom course series, or if you choose to support me on Patreon and help me make more lessons, then uh, 
whatever you choose to give back, I thank you for your generosity. Now, the next verse, um, again, it's G, just the finger on the sixth string, three on the sixth string, and it's just, yeah, it's just the open third string this time. And then you have another D chord, so you can do it like this. Okay, but this doesn't sound too good. So I play D over F sharp. So I play two on the sixth string with my thumb um, and I play strings three and four. And then you have D over F sharp. You have the D string and the F sharp on the bass, which is an inversion of the chord. And it just, it's D. You have F sharp here, so we just move it down to the bass, two octaves down. So that's the, the inversion. So, okay, this is the chord. And then it's just zero, zero hammer on to four on the third string. So it's, okay, you don't, you don't, sorry. Okay, you don't even have to, I did it again. Yeah, I hammered on both. Okay, you don't have to play the D string even. You can do, okay, you can just do the bass. Okay, play it clean. You don't have to do this. Okay, you don't have to play it uh, with all those notes because it's too muddy. It's too low. It's full of uh, very uh, wide frequencies. So playing it clean is uh, the best choice, actually. Okay, you don't have to play anything else but the bass notes and the third string. Okay, so it's three on the sixth string with the open third. Okay? And then you have two on the sixth ring with the open third and you hammer on to four. Okay, so. Okay? And then you have the same line with A and C. So it's. Okay, so the bass notes are now zero and three on the fifth string. You can play two on the fourth with them, okay? If you like the sound of it. So put two on the fourth string with your four finger, then add the C bass, okay? But you don't have to, you can just play the bass notes, okay? So, okay? If you like the muddy sound, okay, then by all means, Go ahead and do it. Then you have the same bass sequence again, okay? G, F sharp, okay? D over F sharp, and A and C again. But the line is 0, 3, 3, 3, 0, 3, 3, 3 on the second string. So it's, okay? And then, sorry. And now if you play the open third string, with all these notes, it sounds great because it's no longer muddy. It's no longer, it's technically no longer a bass note. Okay, so it's not that muddy. It's not that dirty. So it's it's nice. Okay, so. Okay, and then you have the same bass notes, but with this line. So it's G with the open third string, and then two on the fourth. And then it's the F sharp bass with the open third string twice. And then it's kind of the same thing with A and C, but you play the open third string three times with A. And then two on the fourth, and then C with the open third string twice. So this line, again, was Because this is rap, basically, it's rap. Um, you can you can play it in any timing you want. Um, you can you can variate on this because it's basically just speech. So it doesn't really matter how you play it as long as you've got groove. Um, so you can add slaps. You can you can add embellishments. You can you can do whatever you like here. Uh, basically, as long as you don't dirty it up too much. And then you have the chorus. So the chorus is G, again, just the bass, okay? Three on the bass. You don't have to put anything else on. 
you play it with strings two and three. Okay, that's it. And then you have the open third string, two on the fourth, and then you have the open third string twice with the C bass, three on the fifth. And then you have strings three and four again with zero and two, and then you have the open third string twice again, but with four on the fifth string. Okay, this is C sharp diminished. So leave the two on on the third on the on the fourth uh, string on the D string, and you can play the whole chord. So it's okay, and then you have C again. Okay, three on the fifth, and you play the open third string with it, and then the second. Okay, so it was G. C sharp, C, okay, so you can play the chord, strings 5, 4, and 3, and then 2, 3, 4, and, uh, two, three, four, and 5, okay, so you have uh, strings 5, 4, and 3, and then 5 to 2, okay, so dramatic, okay, you can slap in between, and then you play it again, G, And then you have G with a zero three on the second string. Then you have C with two pull off to uh, with uh, one pull off to zero on the second string, and then two on the third, and then two pull off to zero on the third with the C sharp bass. Okay, so it's G, C, okay, with your four finger, and then you pull it off with four on the fifth string. And then you have C, okay? So you play the bass with strings four, three, three, four. And then you have G, okay? The whole chord with the second string as your melody note. So, and then you have F. Um, I just put my thumb on one on the bass and I play. Play two zero two on the third and the open second string as a solo and two and three on strings four and five the C chord head okay and that's the ending of the chorus okay. and then just go back and play the whole song so. You subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. The tabs are free for download on my website. The link is in the description as well as the Patreon link and the courses link. So go download the tab for free. The description link is waiting for you and I will see you in the next lesson. Again, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I thank you very much for watching. Enjoy and bye for now. See you soon.